satiation versus habituation. Now, if you've been watching this season of Penny Packers Pedants, you will notice that this particular season so far has all been recorded in one outfit. That's because we recorded it in Low one session. Low budget. Low. I've got a plenty nice wardrobe. I'm just lazy, and I'm not going to go upstairs and go get it. Um, anyway, um, because we record in a basement, because that's how awesome we are. We don't even have a studio. We have a makeshift studio. Anyway, it's cool. Oh, no, children are coming. <laughs> Nothing like that happening in the middle of a video. Just like one minute, okay? I've got to finish this video in one minute. That's, that's my deal, one minute videos, which I'm already over that, but I don't care. So here you go, satiation versus habituation. So you will see it all the time. People are like, oh man, he's totally satiated to that reinforcer. Or, oh no, she won't, she won't take that toy anymore because she's, she's satiated. Stop with that unless, right now. Unless it's pica. Unless, it, <laughs> right? Unless you're eating the darn thing you can't say she on. Everybody's like, their head's exploding right now. What do you mean you can't remember all my faculty members? I don't care. If they are talking about satiation to a reinforcer, right? That literally means you're full, all right? And you're not hungry anymore. You've devalued the reinforcer, so it's no longer going to serve as a reinforcer. But more importantly, it's not just that reinforcer. If you've satiated to a food-based reinforcer, if I switch up the reinforcer and uh, just do like a hot dog versus a, versus a hamburger bites, you wouldn't think it would maintain behavior if you've satiated to it. However, that often isn't the case. So what you need to remember, folks, is that habituation to reinforcers is actually a thing. You habituate to reinforcers within a session. So if you're working with me over the next five minutes or one minute or whatever it is, and you're giving me reinforcers over and over and over and over and over again, suddenly they're not working, they're not holding behavior anymore, guess what? It's probably that I've habituated to them. Change it up. So if you're giving me M&Ms and a whole bunch of M&Ms and M&Ms, give me a potato chip and boom, behavior come right back. That's habituation. So people confuse it all the time. They forgot about it. They didn't, uh, they never learned Fran, uh, Dr. McSweeney's research. They never learned that stuff. So focus on it, folks. Habituation versus satiation. Understand the difference. Utilize it in your practice because it is a super powerful thing to understand. Almost always, in my experience, my understanding of behavior is that when you're starting to get a reinforcer that's no longer working, check to see if it's habituated. Probably not satiated.